by November 15, 2020, all publishers must be compliant to Transparency on Consent Framework 2.0 or TCF 2.0. Many advertisers have already declared and announced that they will be adopting this new policy, which means if consent signals are not detected from your site, they could stop bidding or buying traffic from your site and could result to drop in revenues. In this tutorial, we will show you how to convert your tags to be TCF 2.0 compliant and avoid regulatory penalties, prevent catastrophic effects on your ad revenues that could be brought about by this new regulation. In order to test if your implementation is correct, go ahead and right-click Inspect to load DevTools on your site. Append the URL with pg underscore gdpr equals emulate dash eu and reload the page. Again, let's go back to the network tab. Now you will notice we don't see any ads right now that's loading and we have this consent pop-up. So on the network tab, if you filter that with ads, question mark, you're not going to see any result, which means none of the ads are loaded yet. You can also look for analytics for Google Analytics and you won't see it either. So that means our Google Analytics code and all our ad tags are covered with this consent right here, which is a PubGuru data guard. And once I load or consent, now you see ads are loading. And if we filter the results here for ads, you will see all the ad calls running. And we have here the analytics code loading as well. The bottom line is none of your tags that gather personal information from users should be served unless you obtain consent first. We published a blog here that will provide you a guide depending on which type of tag you're running on page and how to convert it to become TCF 2.0 compliant. At the bottom of this blog, you will see how to properly test PubGuru Data Guard. We will post the link in the description box below, so please go ahead and check that out. Now let me go ahead and quickly demonstrate on how you can convert your tags to be TCF 2.0 compliant. On our guide, the first thing you need to do is search for this script if it's deployed anywhere on your site. If it is, go ahead and disable or remove it. We will be providing you with an upgraded script that has all the advanced features plus it's TCF 2.0 compliant. Next, go ahead and deploy these scripts right here and this will be customized and will be configured by your Monetize More account manager. So they will be providing you with appropriate script and this right here is just a placeholder. Once you have that, go ahead and deploy. Again, it can go either in the header or body section of the site. If you are using Ad Inserter, you can go to the Settings tab, then go to Header and deploy in there. Make sure it's turned on and click on Save. If you are using Advanced Ads plugin, Go ahead, create a new ad, choose plain and text code, deploy the tag, and click on publish. Then select head for the placement. What about the body tags? All you need to do is grab the ins section of your tag. That means it starts with the opening ins tag and the closing ins tag. If you are on Google AdSense, this is how a raw tag straight from AdSense looks like. So what you need to do is just grab this section here. Don't deploy this and this. Those sections of your tag will now be handled by our script and will prevent your ads from loading until we obtain consent. So once you have this tag, if you are using Ad Inserter, look for a block and deploy it in there. Target the specific section of the page and specify the insertion where you want it to show up. Do the same for the rest of the ad units, depending on how many there are you are running. Deploy their tags, target the page, and specify insertion. Once all done, you can click on Save. If you are using advanced ads, create a new ad, plain and text code. Deploy the tag, specify your display, and visit our conditions as needed. Go ahead, publish. Then, select the spot where you want it to show up and repeat the same steps for the rest of the ad units you're running. For AdSense Auto Ads, go ahead and grab the TCF 2.0 compliant code template that we have on the blog, and this goes into the header section of your site. So let's use a code editor in here, and back to AdSense, you go to Ads Overview, and under By Site, you're gonna get code, and you will see there 
bit code that you can deploy to run auto ads. All you need from here is your pub ID. Go ahead and copy that and just replace the template right here. And remember not to delete the codes or any other component of this tag. And again, this script right here will be customized based on the configuration prepared for you by your Monetize More account manager. And once you have that, you can go ahead and copy the whole thing. If you're using Add Inserter, you can go to the header section and you can go ahead and deploy. Make sure it's enabled and then just click on Save. If you're running regular AdSense display ads along with the auto ads, you only have to deploy these scripts right here once. So you don't have to deploy that twice. If you are using advanced ads, go ahead and create a new ad, plain and text code, deploy the tag, click on publish, and after that, select head for the placement. And don't forget to test the PubGrew Data Guard CMP to make sure it all works. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.